Okay, here's something I wanted to ask about. There was a, a whole viral thing because you had this guy, Chico, who seemed to be like kidnapping one of you guys or both of you guys in a he video. What he, was going on with that? He didn't kidnap me. He he was he he like tricked me and then he tried to he well he did set me up. He like he set me up um, into like going to a barber shop full of uh, full of bloods, trying to get me uh, jump because he said the bloods were. Um, Man. They were they were thre- they were they were threatening him. I don't know if they were really bloods. They were just a bunch of grown men, like like twelve deep in the barbershop. But were you si- were you basically like having him manage no, you at no, some point? I mean, what's it called? It was he- not like no man. Look, <clears throat> we was gonna be homeless if 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 we didn't beat with him. You had, look, he was he was getting money from the from from the government. And was that's how we were paying the rent. We're, oh. You feel me? With my baby mom at the time. My baby mom said, I can't do this anymore. I'm pregnant with, with your baby, so I'm going to fix my life. Just fix your life, and we can come back. Uh-huh. You feel me? So we moved all so the way to we, North Carolina. He, he hit us up way before uh, while we was doing the internet live and the 10,000 and, and, and rapping. Yeah. He said, he been saying, like, hey, listen, I fought with y'all boys. Uh, I got y'all. Like, you feel me? Whatever uh, type of thing. You feel me? So we're, we 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 kind of were like, hey, yo, we need we need somewhere to stay. You feel me? He's like, okay, come over here. That's when he's like, I could get you a job. Because at the time, we weren't making money on rap. Right. You feel me? So uh, I could get you a job. And um, we're like, all right, bet. That sounds like a plan. So we went up there with nothing, really. And uh, he, he helped like, us out. He well, had like $1,200 in my bank. Yeah. He helped, he helped us he helped us uh get a job. He made us stay in a trailer that Oh yeah, he got you a job at the weed shop, right? But then you at, got fired. At, no, no, at a at a vape shop. No, we yeah. quit because we got lit. Yeah, okay. no, we should yeah, no, I, I couldn't do it anymore. I was only making three hundred dollars a week. Right. Yeah, he the boss tried him, but he wasn't doing much because sitting in a chair. Yeah, no. But my, he was going up, going on live. Nobody knew it. Yeah, my job, nobody would call me. It was dead. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I then was, me, I worked at like a hood corner store. Yeah. Like a bodega yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And I, I had a whole bunch of people come in and st- stuff like that, but I was still trying to go up and stuff. Uh, but I was only making 500, uh, 500 a, week. a week. I was making 300 suck. because I would just sit there. And, and then what's it called? Then I started being on my phone a lot, making a lot of business plays. And my boss, he was going like that. And, he, uh, and my boss came in. He goes like, why are you always on your phone? And my boss like, would always and tell And I told him, I made a comment. I'm like, because I make more money on my, I make more money on my phone. Mm. And he goes, I no, need you to be I, off the look, phone. At the, at the time, the hood, at, so. the, at the time, I would just be on live and stuff like that. And he's like, yeah, he's like, you know, my son watches. He's like, you're going to be big one day. You feel me? And I'm like, yeah. Um. Yeah, so, so I would just grind on live the whole entire time and stuff like that, and and he didn't have no problem with it. You feel me? Mm. But he couldn't take it no more. So it was like he was going out of business in that in that shop and stuff like that. So then why would you dip out on the Chico dude? You just went back to Florida. Uh, he so he so basically what happened was he had his baby had birth already, and then what's it called? He got like a place for him and his girl because you know right in the same city. Yeah, right. Look, in the same, when I look, okay. He met, he started he started uh, me up with a new girl. You feel me? Like and yeah. He, so I was he, with I he was, started fuck, he started fucking with her. Hold yeah, on. I was with her for five months. And she lived in Virginia, so we were in North North Carolina at the time. So I was alone at a trailer where uh, they were like a bunch of like uh, Mexicans and they would do crystal. Yeah, we lived in the trailer. They, they would do crystal mad and mm. stuff like that. So I had a you feel me? I had. A, you guys ever do that? No. no. That's the good stuff. Nah. Okay. Uh, you're not for real, right? Yeah, I'm just fucking. Uh. Nah. Nah, nah, but what's called, nah, yeah, but I was definitely in that type of environment, but I was, I was grinding though, you feel me? So uh, I started making money off rap. Yeah, we, had, started, we had like 20 bands in that little I trailer. Started, I started making money while I was, I was rapping and stuff like that. Well, and he had 20 bands, I had 20 bands. And, pe- oh, and, man. and he started peeping that, you feel me? So he he started becoming a, he started becoming a hater. Yeah, so he got, he got jealous. So one day I woke up, uh, one day I woke up. He he didn't he didn't there was, I don't know why people say kidnap he didn't kidnap me he, he got said me, get in the car yeah he said get in he said get in get in the truck what's it called we're gonna we're uh we're gonna go do something mm. I said okay yeah we're gonna go do something cause I cause I know I know when people are crazy you feel me I don't want my girl into it so I know when people are crazy I, I don't want him to go inside the house or anything like that so I got in the truck with him mm. and when I got in the truck with him he he put like I guess cause he had a two door truck like one of them Silverados he had put like a lock a lock to it or whatever. And then I'm, I'm like, I'm like trying to uh, get out to it, but it's whatever. So he took me to a barbershop. There were like 12 deep full of men. And then what's it called? And then what's it called? Talking about, talking about um, uh, that, they, that they, they're threatening his family, that they know where he lives at, uh-huh. and that I need to give my address out. Oh, wow. So he said, if I don't get my address out, he's going to have me jump by, uh, by all of them. So that's why he's recording me. And st- uh, he's, he's making me record and stuff like that because, because he's telling me that I'm going to get, get uh, jumped by a whole bunch of guys in the back of the tattoo and barbershop. Uh-huh. And stuff like that. So the whole time, I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. You feel me? Cause you feel me? Like, what, what's going on? <laughs> right. But they kept like closing, they kept closing in on me and stuff like that. 
So like, so like, it was one of those things that you, you know he like. Yeah, he started becoming he's, weird. He became weird because he 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 said he loved us and fucked with us and all that, but he 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 tried it. He's like threatening my life. Right, because in that one clip, he's like basically just saying, "You need to give me money." Yeah, and that's another. You know that, what? I, you that's know another what? point. He says I owe money. I don't yeah, owe we don't nothing. Own shit. He never gave us no money. I never it signed was, no contract uh, to no, him. On my, on my mother, on my listen. On every every music video we pay for, directed. We we spent nights, uh, uh, cold nights too, because North Carolina's cold. We're from Florida. Look, I, we spent cold nights and everything like that. Look, Studio look, nights. He yeah. was not there. He no, was with his family in the, in the house. I already knew he was a fucked up individual when he when he would come to my cr uh, crib when I like I bought a crib there uh, at the time, mm -hmm. and he came all pilled out and stuff like that. In front, while, of, in while front I, of his baby, in front of my baby, and I was pissed off about it. He tried to throw Drunk. he tried to throw a can at me behind behind my baby's a uh, can of what a white claw. <laughs> Thinking it's a can of yeah, ravioli he, or something. Yeah, he's one he's one of those guys that like that used to like that used to be like the best fighter like 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 he like he, like he, he knows how to. Like, I, I, I bet that's what he was like a like a really like good fighter when he in our age and his prime and stuff like that. Right. And now he can't handle himself because he's old, fat, and yeah. <laughs> so so how how did you end up escaping? You had to jump out of a moving car. Yeah, I did. And just sprinted through. A I sprinted through. Or? I ran through the woods. Not I left my slides and everything. I ran through the woods and everything like that. And then what's it called? I had my girl call Uber and everything like that. Wow. And, yeah, and, and you haven't seen the dude since. Are you worried you're gonna have to deal with that still? Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm not worried about him. You understand what I'm saying? He's a 40 year old old man, but it, you feel me? Like to threaten my life and have so called sex money murder uh, 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 bloods. That's what they were claiming to be. Right, because he said that you were false claiming sex money murder bloods. I wasn't I, false claiming. He just got by. mad because he just got mad because because there was there was I like ha I had him talk. There, there was big homies that that wanted to fuck with us the way how he fucked with us, yeah. and he didn't like it. He go, you were not gang bang. You 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 do not be with, with blood. That's that's not that's you know what I mean. You're with me. I'm your big homie. Right. You feel me? He wanted to, he wanted to be that, but he just got mad because we I vanished five months. I'm with my girl. Right. I'm getting money. What's it called? I'm doing my thing. Still rapping. And what's it called? And he's still in this. He's still doing construction. And he's mad. He can't he can't keep in touch. Yeah, cause, Cause we used to just go to work yeah, every day. Cause you gotta say I yeah. can't I came from nothing. So when I started making money, he got jealous. He, he I started becoming more cocky. I'll put it in his face. I'm like, bro, I could take care of your whole family. Like trying to try not trying, but basically trying to say I got money like now. So don't try me. You feel me? Right. And he started getting weird. He's like, you think he's like you think that's cool that you that you make money and you can't be humble about it. I'm like, damn, bro, just chill. I'm young, man. I'm making money. He's like, no. But but <laughs> but but then but then but but then again, the, then again, we didn't try to like try him. Like I wasn't like, trying to like. Yeah, try him. we didn't try to try him. But he he tried me so many times when it came down to like he uh, to when I was working to get to get a car to get a car to like go around and stuff like that, which was his car at, uh -huh. at the time. He would tax me like like fucking Mercedes he's prices he's, a month for an old ass Cadillac. He works he works a job. But I pay six hundred dollars and his uh, truck insurance. He works a insurance. job, but I just don't know how he's so broke. Mm. Yeah, he had me buy. He had me put some money in for his son's uh, PS Five. I said, okay, I got you. I mean, because he couldn't afford fucking nine hundred dollars for a PS Five. Yeah, but it sounds like he took you in when you guys were in. You said you were going to be homeless homeless if it wasn't for him at one point, right? Yeah. So I mean. It, does sound like you know you rubbing it in his face that you were making all this money. But you gotta understand. You gotta taste, understand. Right? Nah, the way how you would. He, uh, the way how you, you understand. Would, I, the pay, way, I the, paid him back. I paid him back even more. Oh, okay. the, the you know way, what I mean? For anything he paid for, bro, I paid more. Bro, Adam, the way how he would act, the whole entire time while we was trying to come up, that's not how you act. Yeah, he was. If you want, he, if you want to be respected, because you're older, man. Like right. you feel me? Like you're not supposed to be trying to like. No, he, he definitely seemed like a total psycho. Yeah. 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 No he, denying oh, that. He's one of the most. He is one of one of the most psycho guys I ever had to deal with. Like, he's not in the right mindset. I feel bad for his kids. I feel out. bad for his baby mama. I feel bad for anybody that lives in the house with him. I feel bad that anybody that's associated with him. I feel bad that anybody that that has to call him a friend because the man is to totally crazy. He's not. He's not. He's not in the right mindset. But if, look, one so. thing about me is, listen, I understand what he did for me. I don't. I don't like. He that's still, why I said, he still calls me talking about he lo he loves me and then wants to argue look, with look, me. That's like, why I'm like okay, it, but if if you wanted to be my homeboy, like like that's why I don't get some people like why why do you want to like try me and think you could be my homeboy right after you mm. could have been cool the whole entire time and then when I'm enjoying life we could be homeboys. Yeah, the but man, you, the but, man literally the man but literally you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't hold hold your anger you had to uh, let it out. The man like, literally you know said, the man literally set me up. You know what I mean? You're not my you're not my people's if you if you setting me up and you and you making me give my address out to 12, 12 so called bloods in a barbershop and, and, so, and they and it's a small town it's in North Carolina they can come to my house whatever and, and I'm a rapper I'm on live all the time I'm flexing this and this and that that's not cool he's I'm put, just 
He's scared because his life is in danger, and he doesn't care if my life look, is in danger. Look, so and that, let's fuck him. Look, and that's the th- and that's the thing now, uh, Adam. Uh, we have a lot of people living curiously through us now, mm. like no cap. We inspire people, man. This is the same way how we. Yeah, he gonna be, if he goes back in the United States, gonna talk about this. 